Hello, Finnovate. I'm David. This is Tom. We're Expensify, and we do expense reports that don't suck. We do that by importing your, thank you, thank you. It gets better. Um, we do that by importing your expenses and your receipts right from your credit cards and mobile phones, submitting expense reports through email, reimbursing everything entirely online, the glory of QuickBooks and direct deposit. So uh, we have a history with Finnovate. We actually launched here in 2009. We launched an amazing analytics package last year in 2010, but this year is going to be even better. This is the year when Expensify became self-aware. That's right, Singularity Skeptics. Today it's your worst nightmare, but business travelers, you just got a new best friend. Let me introduce to you the Expensify Brain. <clears throat> so, Brain, uh, how are you today? Good evening, Dave. Everything's running smoothly. Well, maybe not that smoothly, because it's actually not morning here. So can you update your, your clock, please? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I just, can you just kill the audio? Just kill the voice module? There we go. Uh, anyway, um, so where were we? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The end of humanity as we know it. But the dawn of a new day in expense report automation, you see? So uh, oh, can we switch over to uh, the phone, please? Groovy. So well, we've been doing uh, ex receipt processing for a while now. You can, uh, we've got apps for iPhone, Android, Blackberry, and Palm. Just take a picture, it'll upload straight to our servers. You can email to receipts at expensify.com. Uh, you can also just uh, upload straight into the browser. So we've been doing the receipt processing thing for a while now. In fact, actually, uh, on Saturday, we had sort of a major, major milestone. I'm very proud to announce that we've processed our one millionth receipt on Saturday morning. So it's, it's a pretty big deal for us. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Um, but, but I'll be completely honest with you, we, we haven't really done anything with those receipts. I mean, we hold on to them, we'll stick them in a report, and uh, we'll print them out and so forth, but we don't actually know anything about those receipts. Now, the brain changes all of that, because now, starting today, every up receipt that you upload will actually pull the information right off of the receipt. It's true receipt scanning. We're going to pull off the merchant name, the amount, <clears throat> the date, and so forth. And so, basically, no typing involved whatsoever. Uh, additionally, and this is a more subtle point, but actually a really crucial point, if you're also importing your credit card into Expensify, because you know most business purchases are done by credit card, we'll actually identify the matching credit card transaction and reconcile against it. So not only is the typing taken away, but the manual reconciliation process is taken away as well. And sort of the, the third piece of, uh, of pain that typically or matches with the expense report process is uh, actually uh, doing the categorization itself, because you know every accountant has their own crazy set of, of categories they want you to use, we try our best to really kind of guess which is the right one. The brain can really help us out here because now we can actually start to learn from your past behavior and, and guess more accurately as to what the category is for the, uh, the corresponding expense. And with that, can we switch back to the browser, please? So what we've got here is actually we've got Expensify, we've imported a credit card, everything's looking good, everything's you know categorized, except for uh, we've got one of these here, this uh, GoDaddy is not categorized. And so. We're going to talk about how we can train the brain on how to categorize this. We're going to switch it over to entertainment because GoDaddy, that guy, is just freaking hilarious. Um, what we're going to do now is now we've taught the, taught the brain how funny GoDaddy is. We're actually going to create a new expense for GoDaddy. We're actually uh, uh, not going to categorize it, though. We're going to enter the, the, the amount and the merchant name and so forth, save it, and you can see when it comes up, you know, the brain also agrees that GoDaddy is really funny. Um, so what we're going to do also is uh, on, the, on the order of sort of this automation process, if you click uh, edit next to one of the expenses here, let's go and like maybe rename it to GoDaddy domains or something like that. You can see an option appears at the bottom to uh, create a rule based upon your changes. Now this rule uh, is actually what allows us to, it's kind of like the Gmail filters if you're familiar with those. It's like every time an expense comes in with the words GoDaddy, I want you to rename it to GoDaddy domains. We can categorize it, comment it. You can also add it to a report because we found that there's actually a lot of similarity month after month of the expense reports, and that, that phone bill is re reimbursed every single month. Why do you have to type it in? You don't have to type it in anymore. Instead, you just create a rule for it. We'll automatically add it to an expense report. Now, all of this is aiming to get sort of the holy grail of expense report, the one-click expense report, if you will. Oh, I forgot to show the best part. Can we switch over to the receipts, please? And uh, let's see here. So here are the receipts that we just uploaded moments ago. Um, you can see here at uh, Specialties Cafe and Bakery, they make a really good turkey sandwich. Uh, we pulled off the, the name, the amount, the date, and all of that. Uh, if we go look at the other one here, it's uh, Tadis Grill, a really great restaurant here in San Francisco. Uh, we actually reconciled against the corresponding credit card transaction, you can see, and we pulled the information up there. And so, again, we've taken, we've tried to take all of the typing and all the tedium out of expense reporting by just automating the entire thing through receipt scanning, 
associating the credit card expenses, uh, and then, of course, categorizing things automatically. Now, uh, all of this is a, it's, it's pretty exciting. We're very, very excited about it because this is the top feature that our users have been requesting from day one. I mean, literally, every time we show off receipts and receipt, like, you know, photos with our, uh, our iPhone app, they're like, wow, it's so cool. I wish I could scan it. And I agree with you. I wish I could, too, and now you can't. So uh, we're really excited. Actually, if, uh, every account today um, starts with uh, 10 free receipt scans. Uh, to get more, oh, actually, can we switch back to the mobile app real quick? Yeah, the mobile app, the overhead. God, please. Anyway, you can imagine, if you will, that there would be a mobile application, and it would have these buttons on it that look a lot like that. And uh, there's a couple things you can do. You can buy. Of course, you know, that's pretty boring. You can click the Earn button. And actually, the more interesting way is just invite your friends. Every time you invite a friend to Expensify, we'll give you five receipt scans. We'll give them five receipt scans. There's a few different ways. Of course, you can, uh, uh, you can invite through email. Uh, you can actually just choose from your address book, uh, or even better is you actually just uh, take out a business card here. And uh, because what better way to invite someone to a scanning system than just to scan their business card? Again, everyone wins. Uh, everyone's going to be happy about it. So I guess uh, in, in conclusion, I encourage all of you to install the Expensify app. We have iPhone, Android, Blackberry, and Palm. Uh, turn to your neighbor, ask for their business card, and scan it. You will give them credits. They will give you credits. Everyone wins. So uh, that's Expensify. Uh, thank you very much, and good luck.